Hey guys, welcome back to Persona. Last time, well, we lost Yamoka. Now it just seemed like a little boy in front of that old guy. Failing to protect the ones you love. Nothing hurts worse than that. Yeah. I didn't think he was gonna cry. He must have really loved that old guy. Really? Come on now. Uh, yeah, and he's... Oh, wait. He's already gone. Kind of sad, actually. You alright there, Nanjo? Yamoka, what should I do? Without you, I'm all alone. No one is here to encourage me. No one will stand by me. Yeah, I feel really bad for Nanjo because he's obviously rich and he has, like, stuff, but it's very clear he, uh... I don't think his family life is all that great. First of all, we have an Atlas thing over here that we can't actually interact with. Let's go ahead and head on out into the hospital. Okay, so real quick here, let me show you guys the map. We can't see the map anymore. Things are a little weird. And we're just gonna go... Okay, we're gonna go in battle is what we're gonna do. Alright, so uh, this is a tutorial. If you really want to go through it, we can. I'm gonna pretty much ignore everything here because I don't really care. We've got some of our first enemies here. First of all, if you click on the left, what is this, L1 tab, you can access the overview for the party. If you press uh, R1, you can actually access the other party member, or the other enemies. So we've got Mr. Zombie, Preta, and Zombie Nurse. Now we don't have any of these actually like, like we haven't fought them yet, so if we try and analyze them, actually let me just show you guys, we can't try to analyze them. Oh, we actually have, we fought Mr. Zombies before, but we haven't fought Preta's, and we have fought the Zombie Nurses. Um, I guess that counts from the original battle? I don't know, I didn't think about that being something that you can do. But as you can see here, uh, you can see what type it is, what subtype it is, whether or not it's got any condition effects on it, uh, what level it is, it's HP, it's SP. I, nothing in this is really all that useful except for the top right of the bottom box, which says null gun and weak element comma force. So that's basically your only information on like what you can use against this guy. If you press square, you access the two attacks for this particular character, along with its stats. So its strength, its vitality. Um, really nothing that I care about. And we can't see this character, so as you can see here, this guy's got four attacks. Um, she can use a few different attacks. I don't know, nothing of interest that we really care about. Now, one of the things you can do uh, is you can actually contact the enemies. Now, I've gone through, I actually have a guide um, that I've used on how to contact enemies. And you can see, first of all, on the top left, you can see how happy, angry, eager, or scared it is. If you can get too eager into the middle, you can get a variety of different things. So let me just show this off. Let's do Mr. Zombie. And I'm gonna select Mark to do this. Now, each character has different types of contacts they can do. So like your main character has Persuade, Taunt, Invite, and Sing. Each person's got something different. I'm gonna use Dance by Mark. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna basically dance and then the enemy is going to respond. Now you can see up in the up upper left that the eager bar has grown and is now blinking. So that's good. Now he's gonna ask for something. Sometimes this happens. I'm gonna say screw that. I don't want to be give him any uh, health. I'm gonna do one more time. Okay, so now the bar, or the box, the diamond, as a diamond, is blinking yellow. And you can go, spell card, give me what you got, or get out of here. So get out of here means, get out of here, give me what you got. You usually get either like a life stone or money, uh, sometimes XP, and spell cards are what, what we really want. I'll give you my card, but hurry up and make a persona with it or it might rot. Now we can't fuse persona quite yet, but we do wanna pick up some cards over some, you know, a period of time. Now we don't get any XP from that, which that can be bad, but whatever. Anyway, let's go in here. All right, let's, uh, let's talk to people. What is this bullshit? Whoever's doing this is gonna pay. I'll get this place back to normal or die trying. With this power, we should be able to find out why this is happening. If only, oh, whoops. If only, if only I'd made certain he went home. 
Man, now Andrew's gonna be beating himself up about that for a while. The TV's not working and the phone's dead too. What in the world is going on? Damn it, why can't I get to the ICU? There's a patient in there. I have to treat the sub so Sonomur Sonomura girl. Sonomura girl. There we go. <laughs> I'll figure out the names. Probably not. I treat your wounds at the examination room, but I can't find it. Nothing in this hospital is where I remember it. Okay, so we want to get these boxes. We get two QQ helmets there and six medicines. So that's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and equip uh, the helmets on our main character and Nanjo and Mark. I am not going to do anything with our other character. Is this, El this isn't Ellie, this is Yukino. Yeah, we're not going to do anything with her. Alright, so let's go ahead and keep going. Now this is the save room, so I'm going to go ahead and save. You don't have to, of course, but I mean it's kind of useful to do so. All right, let's go ahead and head upstairs. Okay, so we showed off the contact last time. Let's go ahead and actually attack this time. So I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, some skills here. We've got Garu, which is a wind damage for our main character. For Nanjo, we have Hama, which is expel slash instant grave kill. Uh, nothing interesting there, but we're gonna use it. Let's see, Mark knows Tackle, actually. Let's go ahead and use Hama on the back. Use Tackle here. And Yukino knows Light Nuclear Damage. I think this was removed. I actually don't know. Okay, so let me just show off one battle like this, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to fast forward through this. Okay, so he's leveled up to level three, so he learns a new skill. I think this is the first battle we've actually been able to control really to do this. Let me use the second one. All right, so he's reached level three, he's learned Fury Stab. You can see he didn't do a lot of damage there. Which is A-OK. -okay. okay, so that expel damage does do damage over time, so that's important to note. We're gonna go ahead, oh, he learned uh, blind stat, uh, the blind, how to inflict the blind status. Pretty nice. The blind status can be useful, but it's not really anything I need. Uh, so he learns uh, Flurry Stab. Now, first of all, I guess I should note this. If you look up at the top right corner of this box, you can see the SP cost. So rather than having like skills that are specific mana cost, so like higher level skills being higher uh, level or higher, like more SP, Instead, this one is Persona. Persona are specific amounts of SP, and that's just it. <laughs> okay, so we've got some new guys here. We've got the Poltergeist and the Pixie. So the Poltergeist, you, we want to use Sword, Fire, or Expel. And for Pixie, we want to use any Force skills. Nothing of super interest here. Let's just go ahead and fight these off. Now, if you click on start, you can see at the bottom left, I'm gonna hit my microphone too. Uh, you can see the skip is appearing as I click it. So if you put skip on, let me go ahead and do some damage to these guys. Nice. Yeah, you can see how quickly the battle's going now. Basically, the skip skips the animation, and yeah, so the other things you've got, you've got shoot, and you've got attack. Those are pretty useful as well, depending on what type of gun you have, depends on what type of, you know, damage you do. Same thing with the ow, that hurt. I didn't realize I was gonna get hit with that. So your weapon and gun determine what kind of damage you do, so it's pretty important to uh, do that. I think this is the only room that's really here. Let's talk to some people. Damn it, if only we had a hint or something. I'm sorry, Yuga, I'm not thinking as quickly as usual. It's like even the air has changed. I'm finding it hard to breathe. 
There's a strange haze I can see through the window. It's covering the town. You don't think we're trapped here like in the horror novels, do you? Oh, hello again, Hiroshi. Did you come to listen to my stories? I have something to say that I think you might, you may need to hear. Stay calm and think carefully before making a move. If you do, you'll arrive at the truth come what may. Say, Akiko, is lunch ready yet? All right, so we get a disc poison here and we get two more QQ helmets. Yeah, we're gonna end up with like a ton of those. So don't worry about it too much. Okay, so let's go ahead and keep moving here. Oh, I went the wrong direction. <laughs> okay, so we've got a new enemy here. This is the Quicksilver. These guys are weak to sword, fire, and expel. Now, for a lot of these enemies, we, like they're weak to the same thing. So it's actually kind of useful. I don't know what they're strong against. So let's just, very nice. Yukia, or Yukino learned Dia, a healing spell. It's the first healing spell that we've got. That's very useful. Now, all right, let's go ahead and take out this last guy. So these are the only persona that we have right now, by the way. So if you're gonna want anything else, well, too bad. I missed. We leveled up to level four anyway. Learned another skill. The amount of damage you do depends on, or will determine what you uh, get at the end of the battle as well. All right, for level seven, I'm gonna go ahead and throw two points into dexterity and one into agility. So as you can see here, that dexterity is going to raise our weapon attack and hit as well as our evade. And Mark here leveled up as well, so that's nice. All right, let's turn around. And let's head this way. All right, that was just a bunch of Quicksilvers, nothing big here. Let's go ahead and head on in here. This is Maki's room. Yamoka. I'm worried about Maki too, but let's get to the streets. I have a bad feeling. I can still feel Maki here. Hang on, Maki, we'll find you. I think it's the painting called Gate to Paradise that Maki won an award for. You can sense Maki's pain just by looking at it. Yeah, poor Maki, she, uh, I guess I can't open that. I figured I'd try. Uh, let's see, anything here that I can interact with? Doesn't look like it. All right, let's keep on going here. So I think we just need to go downstairs. All right, we got a new enemy here. This is the slime. These guys are weak to element and force. Nothing too exciting there. Let's go ahead and just use our basic stuff. So let's see, Mark learned gravity here, so it's Gry. I'm gonna show that off. And Yukino learned electric, so Zio. Nothing too exciting here, honestly, but it's, it's, just, it's a thing. There we go. So as you can see here now that we've gone, we've, we're getting very, very little XP. <laughs> but that's okay. Okay, so I think... Okay, yeah, so this, that's a dead end, so let's go ahead and head this way. I'm looking at the mini-map, it's a little bit easier to do some stuff. Alright, so this is the zombie boy. These guys are weak to element and force. I think most of the zombies are weak to element and force, so just heads up. All right, just go and attack and let's take these guys out. The battles are gonna be pretty short, honestly. All right, Nanjo leveled up. Beautiful. Okay, so this room is another save point. So let's go ahead and save here. All right, so let's go ahead and keep exploring a little bit. Oh, well, let's keep going here. I think I've hit everything I've wanted to hit on the way here. I don't think there's like much like of anything that we can hit that's different. There's nowhere we can go. Okay, so after that battle, Yuga here is leveled up. He's level eight now. 
So we're gonna go ahead and throw two points into agility. I know it sounds really weird. And one into strength. I wanna get strength up to 10. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and start moving again. Beautiful leveling up. Now this way. Okay, let's keep going here. This should be the doctor's office. So let's first of all open up these two things. We get two medicines here. I've talked to some people. I always thought you were a pushover, you, yeah? I'm surprised how calm you are. I wonder if there are other patients besides Maki in trouble right now. Hmm? Yes? What is it? Poor Nanjo. Are you alright? Here, let me take a look. So, the... Yeah, you get healed for free here. I want to save as many people as I can. Try not to push yourself too hard. I can't get in touch with the patients. What am I supposed to do? Can't you do something? I'm sorry. I'm asking the impossible. I'm just so confused. Okay, so what I want to do here, um, at the beginning of the game, I've tried to split up a little bit of the grinding a little bit because honestly, nobody likes grinding and this game as the type of game it is, you're going to need to do a bit of grinding. And I'm sorry for that. So what I've done is I want to spend basically going back and forth like this and I want to level up to level 10. It should only take a little bit of time. Oh, did I actually have this? Oh, now you can see here. Yeah, you can see the Preta, <laughs> the skills. Anyway, um, yeah, and I want to level up pretty much my three characters and not Yukino, so that's why I'm not using her right now. I know that sounds a little weird probably if you don't know what's gonna happen, but just trust me on this. You wanna focus on the first three characters and the rest of them can just wait. And she's gonna level up a little bit anyway. So, I mean, it's kind of a whatever situation. So we're gonna do that. It should take no more than, like, it should take less than 10 minutes. It should only take a few, uh, especially if we get battles like this. It would be a lot easier if we had our, like, group attacks, but we don't have those right now. We just have individual attacks. So it's kind of a whatever. So what I'm gonna do between episodes is I'm gonna level up to level 10. Like I said, it shouldn't take all that long to do. And I will meet you back here as we continue going through the hospital. I don't know what'll happen. We'll find out. I do not need to be using wind on those guys. Don't use wind on the pixies. I don't know what I'm thinking. Just, yeah. So instead of using wind, use attack. There we go. All right. That's it. I'm going to go ahead and see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.